I think the Pirelli calendar is quite a unique thing to do for a photographer. You have great freedom to possibly do a lot of what might be special or unusual or memorable. So therefore, to do Pirelli, I think for a photographer is a very, very nice thing. And of course, the minute that I heard they were interested in having me do it, of course, I started thinking, how can I make it different? The idea was that we came up with almost a film script under the umbrella of dreams. We had four women. Each woman was individual, but they were all thinking about their future. So therefore, four movies within one movie was the basic idea of the whole project. Four different women, one common goal, the pursuit and fulfillment of their dreams, driven by their ambition and desire. A photographer, consumed by the beauty and simplicity of nature, and the love of her dear friend, the subject of so much of her work. with a dream to share her images with the world. A painter, inspired by color, expression, and form. Driven by the strength and support of her partner, and her dream to exhibit her art. A wealthy socialite living in solitude in a glass tower, high above the busy streets of New York, searching for the meaning of her life and an escape from the emptiness and loneliness of privilege, with her one true friend by her side. A dancer, her dedication and passion for her craft played out on her own private stage in the arms of the man she loves. With a dream to leave behind her working life and to dance in Paris under a very different spotlight. These are their stories. These are their dreams. Well done, Mr. Good, exactly that. Well done. Great. That's my favorite part of the shoot. <laughs> Basically, the one thing I decided to try and do right from the beginning was to make these images as iconic as possible and that there was going to be some kind of narrative. Well done. So with Misty, Misty is a world-famous dancer. Calvin Royal is a very famous dancer also. Let's pretend here that they're not famous and that they're trying to make it as dancers. And they have dreams. Every little Coming from an underprivileged community, one of six children, growing up with a single mother, I realized just how rare and unique it was for a black woman to enter into American Ballet Theater. And then we also worked in this a little bit. There was no question whether or not I would want to do this. I was like, yes. <laughs> he sort of encouraged us to think back to that time when I was 16, 17, starting ballet. I feel like my biggest achievement is being a positive example, image, role model as a black woman in America. It's really difficult when you're in a field where you as a black woman will not succeed. So of course I've had my doubts, but I've never given up on my dreams. You're so good out of the ordinary. This one is all for you. Sad says right here. 
Letitia, she wants to be famous painter. Sergey wants to be a dancer. Sergey's already a famous dancer, but he's playing somebody who's trying to make it. To have so much freedom that the time doesn't exist. It's what I felt on the picture. Keep your hands on the block. Albert always explained to you everything in detail. You can try even here, just not directly at the camera. We made them for our little movie, Boyfriend and Girlfriend, living in a loft in Miami. It's like I have to take off all my protection and just giving myself to him to be able to catch something real. We're playing characters and to be with Leticia was fun. We laughed a lot and she's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> it was very nice to watch in front of me the real beauty. And it was a man, and uh, I felt like to see an angel passing in front of me. I was not faking in these pictures, what I like, and I wish it could be always like that when you're walking. We're photographing Gigi Hadid, and I came up with this idea that this is a woman who lives in a glass tower, and maybe she just split from her husband. Can't you see my heart is lost without you? She's looking inward to find some sort of inspiration for the day, I guess, and I think that that is how I feel a lot of the time when I'm alone, when I'm on tour. So. I can really connect to this and kind of get into that place where you have to dream to find the positivity. Feel my heart and make me want you well more. She has a confidant played by Alexander Wang, the designer, and he just is helping her get over this difficult time. I think there's a little bit of a melancholy to the situation. I'm uh, apparently the only person that she wants to spend time with and wants to interact with. There's definitely a sadness, but there's a sadness to everyone. And I'm just kind of trying to portray the inspiration to dream and look forward. Julia Garner, she's a wonderful young actress, and I had her play a botanical photographer. The shot is there. And she has a school friend that she photographs from time to time. She wants to just do her best work. She wants to be her best. I think everyone has hopes and dreams and curiosity. I think curiosity is such an important characteristic in a person, because if someone doesn't have curiosity, it's like, Ooh, they're not interested to learn or even to hope. 
It was a very brief description I gave her and she got it right away. I said, you should have concern and some angst. If Albert's gonna give me a direction to do that way or to be this sort of way, I have to think that way and then whatever I'm thinking will come out through the eyes and the camera picks up everything. The shot is perfect, you should know that. He just makes you feel so comfortable and confident that he just gets the most amazing, I almost want to say like performance out of everyone. Being a photographer on a set like this, it's, it's a captain of their ship and he's just great. It sounds really cheesy, great captain, but that's really what it is. I wanted to try and do something different for Pirelli and to do something that's very photographically driven. And if the driving force and the passion is pure photography, then that's where the dream is. Sometimes dreams are hard work. You know?